America wasn't prepared for a national pandemic. Coronavirus cases doubling roughly every two to three days. I would say this is following our, our worst case scenario in terms of pace, in terms of how fast this is evolving. The coronavirus has shown just how dangerous our nation's dependence on a foreign supply chain of medical supplies is. This looks like a lot of stuff to me, but how long is this going to last? The goal was to give us about a two week buffer. Uh, two weeks? Two weeks. That's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time especially when that includes personal protective equipment necessary to keep our healthcare heroes safe. Right now, Americans are struggling as we fight day and night to get the protective equipment we need to fight this virus. We should have never gotten to this point. State governments shouldn't be in bidding wars against themselves just to make sure our workers are protected, and federal emergency responders shouldn't be turning to the black market to resupply our national stockpile. If we ever face something like this again, I want to make sure our nation is prepared. The Pandemic Production Act will ensure that our country is better equipped to deal with this ongoing pandemic while also preparing for future public health emergencies and getting Americans back to work in good paying jobs. This bill will provide a domestic solution to pandemic preparedness by getting American manufacturers the critical federal funding they need to maintain domestic production of medical equipment, test kits, treatments, and vaccines to supply our frontline workers. This legislation is good for our heroes on the front lines. It's good for our workers, and it's good for our economy. While we may not know what the future looks like, I do know that we must be prepared for whatever is next. That starts today with the Pandemic Production Act.